Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a Metal Fells deck profile. Uh, so I haven't really ever like posted a Pendulum deck profile really on my channel, at least not recently. Uh, so I've decided to go ahead and give like any sort of Pendulum deck a try, so I decided to try Metal Fells. Uh, this deck is like super cheap, you can buy like all of these cards for like 25 cents. Um, this is not a very competitive version, just quick disclaimer. If you are wanting to play a competitive version of this deck, you basically have to be playing Magician Souls, um, which is really expensive, obviously. Um, so I'm not playing it. But that's just a quick disclaimer. I think that this deck is like pretty neat. It's not exactly the most competitive deck ever, but it's a really cool deck. So I decided to go ahead and uh, deck profile it. So we're playing three of like every metal foes ever. Uh, three the Gold Viver, three Volt Flame, three Bismagir. These three are like, or these nine are like super insane. Uh, three Steelin, three uh, Silvered, uh, three Melcaster. This card's also, like, really good. Uh, these ones aren't, like, especially great, but they are, like, normal summonable, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then we're also playing one copy of Vanisher. Um, so he's, like, really neat, but he you can't Pendulum Summon him. I don't know why they, like, made really weird levels with the new ones, because there was, like, two, three, four, seven. Uh, so it would have made a lot of, or one, two, three, four, seven. It would be really, like, nice if this was, like, level five and then this was, like, six. But, like, they decided to just screw up the levels for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what they were thinking. It was really a dumb choice, honestly, if I'm being honest, personally. Um... I digress anyways. Uh, moving on, we're playing three copies of Bale Baboon and three copies of Rescue Rabbit. These are really cool normal summons. Obviously, you don't ever want to see them, like, together, though. Uh, this is 42 cards, so, like, you have a less chance of getting them in multiples, but you, um, yeah, I don't know. I just think that, like, Bale Baboon's, like, insane, but also Rescue Rabbit's insane, so, like, you kind of want to play both. Um, then for the last pendulums we're playing is a scout and a monolith just to get access into infinity through summoner's art since uh summoner's art duels as a negate former uh since you can search scout or you can actually just search of, like volflame uh, and then volflame is like another consistency piece so uh that's why i think summoner's art's like insane in this deck uh you could also play one copy of uh, painful decision i wouldn't recommend playing more than two copies of this because it is a once per turn effect uh but usually just use it to search for either steal in um or a gold diver you don't really use it to search for the level three guy but i guess it comes up sometimes um then for spells uh the rest of the spells we're playing three copies of unexpected die this isn't exactly once per turn you could probably cut this down to two but um the idea is just like to get access into a metal post monster on the field uh, unfortunately like electromite still banned uh, otherwise this card would be like even more insane and you would absolutely be playing three but uh maybe you could cut this to two i don't know the idea is like sometimes you can get access into amalgam which we'll go over in a minute um and he's like kind of neat sometimes and especially in this pure build uh i think that he's kind of cool um but like if you are playing the souls package just like dump this card and like play link rebo because this card's like trash compared to to souls especially uh, uh, uh emergency teleports the same thing as unexpected die it's just not once per turn but it's also limited so you kind of only have to play it at one um Two copies of Super Poly. This card's, like, super cool. Just, like, having a Metal Foes monster and then just activating Super Poly and then just fusing the whole board into your your um, your Metal Foes dude, which is uh, Crimsonite. It's, like, crazy. Like, you can just fuse anything. It's crazy. Then, uh, for Bricks, we're playing one Fusion, one Full Metal Foes Fusion, one Parametal Foes Fusion, Fusion, one Counter, and one Combination. So, uh, I decided to play one of all of them because I think that it's, like, they all have, like, cool unique little utility uh aspects of them so i thought they were worth playing one of each of them uh moving on to the extra deck we're playing one amalgam one uh, ip one unicorn one appaloosa and one underworld goddess you could definitely change like a couple of these around you could probably play like access code Boral sword link karibo you, you can definitely like switch these around a little bit uh it's definitely pretty flexible for the most part at least for the link monsters uh, then for the fusions, we're playing one Azortless. He's like kind of neat going second, but otherwise he's kind of trash. Uh, two copies of Mithrilium, one uh, Alkahest. This guy's like not necessary, but I still play him. Just, you know, give it a try, I guess. One Vortex, one uh, Crimsonite, and one Oricalc. Really cool thing with Oricalc is that he does double piercing, especially uh, any Metal Fist monster actually does double piercing. So it used to be like back in like 2017 when like Scapegoes at three, 
uh, you would just make Oricalc and then punch for 56. And then if you had, like, any other Metal Hose monster, you would just game your opponent. It was, like, insane. So uh, if your opponent, uh, like, especially in, like, your locals, if a lot of people are on, like, scapegoats or just, like, in general, monsters with zero defense, play this card, and then you win the duel. Like, it's great. Uh, then for Xyz Monsters, we're playing one uh, Infinity, one Nova, and we're playing a Absolute Dragon because we are playing the Vortex Dragon uh, to get access into it, uh, which is pretty neat. So um, I do kind of want to show like a really quick like idea of you want to do like with the combo. Uh, typically, you just want to end on something like IP and like Mithrilium uh, is like really nice. Uh, and then uh, off of your Bismuth search during your end phase, you typically want to search for your Vanisher. Um, the reason you kind of want to set up this board is because then during your opponent's turn you can link these two off and you can get into a unicorn and then you can obviously use unicorn's effect and use your mithrilium's effect uh you actually want to use it specifically actually the order shouldn't matter i don't think uh because like unicorn chain link one and then like mithrilium chain link two uh or you can do it the other way i don't think it matters realistically uh then you get a special summon back your banisher with mithrilium because he doesn't target pretty cool you get a shuffle and then you get a banish with banisher so it's like two interruptions which is pretty cool and then obviously if you have like you know uh absolute dragon you can even like instead of going like unicorn you can just like keep this guy and like i don't know discard him some other way or something like that uh and then you can go into like the underworld goddess by using one of your opponent's monsters i don't know there's like a lot of utility that you can do with like ip i think it's pretty neat so uh, yeah, just a general idea of what you want to do with this deck. I don't think this deck is like particularly super competitive, as I said earlier, but it is like cool. Um, so if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. With all that said, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.